Happy Valentine's Day, all my friends. Hope you had a good time yesterday. But uh, we're gonna continue having a good time because today I'm gonna show you my level transition thing, like you can see in my my old basketball video. Uh, last week I uploaded uh, a whole blueprint that you can download and use uh, straight into your project from on my Patreon. So if you like what I do and uh, would like to support me go check out my patreon and uh, download the blueprint that I'm gonna show you right now and uh, yeah it's it's uh, quite cool and uh, hopefully you have good use uh, of it but uh, let's just jump straight in and I'm gonna show you how you set it up and basically basically this is how it looks when you uh, download the package and import it into your project uh, and it's a level streaming blueprint, it's a few materials and it's a collection of uh, data that you use in the blueprint if you want to. So uh, how to set it up is basically you start with uh, making your uh, main level, uh, which is the level that you will import all your other levels into. Let's open that up and this level needs to have a few things. Uh, it needs to have, if you're using axiometry, it needs to have the axiometry camera, it needs to have the level streaming blueprint, and it also needs to have a post process volume, because it's the post process volume that does the whole transition effect. And make sure that the post process volume has infinite extent and that this has uh, the post process material. So, then, ah, you can already see it working, pretty cool. Uh, and to make uh, level, level streaming working, as it's called in Unreal, you have to go up to Window, Levels, and uh, then you just keep starting adding your levels. And uh, I only have, you know, uh, starter map levels in this uh, project but uh, it, it will do for showing purposes so here's all our levels and be sure to right click and select change streaming method, method to blueprint and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is go into the level streaming blueprint and it's uh, it's not much, but it's a bit. Uh, I'm gonna show you what the settings you need to do. Uh, and the first setting is at event begin play. It's to decide which level do you want to load first. And probably in our case, it's yeah. And the first setting is to set the level that you want to start with. And uh, in our case, it's level A. And uh, this just uh, tells it to uh, load level A and make visible after load. Uh, and continuing on, we have all the triggers for axiometry. If you're not using axiometry, you could just trigger it in whatever way you feel best. But in our case, it's uh, we're getting a axiometry trigger and we call on it level one. And this is how it's gonna show up inside Eximetry. So you get a button in Eximetry, which calls level one. And all it does is trigger a custom event and loads level A and triggers the level transition. And so we named the map name exactly as the map name here, level A. And the rest is just another level, which is level B. And name it correctly as the name is in the map and the next one is the starter map which is named exactly the same and this should be everything that you need to do so let's fire it up and push play and let's see if it works in axiometry then level b ah it worked and let's go to the starter map it worked as well. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, let's go back and stop this. Go 
I'll probably turn everything off here. Uh, and we also have some settings because it's it's like a sphere that moves in and out, and it's based on <clears throat> the position of uh, the level streaming blueprint compound. So maybe if we zero everything out, where did it? Ah, here we are. Let's see if we can get it more cent centered. Yeah, cool. Pretty sweet. So that's uh, how it works. Let's jump into uh, uh, Unreal again. Uh, <clears throat> and you also have a few settings here. You uh, can just play around with them. But I think the color is the most important and maybe the transition length. Uh, just play around with it, have fun with it. And let's have a look if I can explain further how, how this works. Uh, so basically this triggers a material that looks like this. Uh, and I don't know, it's it's a mishmash of different materials that I material tutorials to make this work. Uh, but uh, get in here and toy around. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload a few more material transitions for on my Patreon. But uh, this this one is quite cool. So uh, let's head back into the level streaming blueprint, and I will try to explain how everything works. So let's start with the event tick. So it starts with just collecting the position of the sphere or the level streaming blueprint into a collection of data and this is so it always uh, the, the center is where the level streaming blueprint actor is uh, and after event event begin play uh, I just set the transition to zero, so it doesn't start with uh, everything in blue uh, or blue lines. And this is the same thing that we went through last, uh, just a minute ago. And here it just records the parameters into the same data collection. So when you do changes here, it will uh, automatically update when you play. Uh, as you noticed, after each uh, level button click, it triggers a level transition. And here's the level transition. Uh, and the first thing is just uh, uh, setting the length of the transition. So basically it's a transition that goes, comes in, and at the height of the transition, the level changes and then it transitions out again. So here's the first transition, which is just a timeline uh, that goes down. And it, uh, it, it drives the transition. And then it goes into the sequencer and it loads the level up, it checks for which level to load. Uh, and if this level isn't loaded, it will load the next level and then we st after the sequence zero we go to sequence one and we start the transition out and then you just unload the level so we don't have any overhead and it's uh, pre pretty easy but pretty good pretty effectful if you want to grab a hold of this you just go to my patreon and uh, it uh, it will be able to be downloaded over there uh, if you got any questions, uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, that's all. Have fun!